it's me. Um, I just wanted to go over today some banking tips and tips for working with a personal banker and how to get the most that you can get out of a personal banker and really develop a relationship so that at that moment that you can solve your problems with them and in the future you can also work through any issues that you might have banking related you'll have a name to go to and it depends on what fees. problems you have remember if it's overdraft fees or if it's you know ATM card fees or anything most corporate banks you will go straight to the personal banker the people behind the desk sometimes in the lobby sometimes in their own office. What you want to do is you want to be kind. Let's say you walk in there and you sit down and you're the personal banker and I'm the client and I want to be kind to you. I want to make, make it so that I'm worth helping. You also don't want to automatically ask for a manager because personal bankers are well trained to handle 90% of what the managers handle anyways, including overdraft fees or any other problems. So you don't want to automatically pull that manager card up because that's going to put everybody, the personal banker and the manager on the defense that you're, you know, you're wanting to go to a step up when the person right in front of you can assist you as well. I mean, we handle everything from foreclosed mortgages to multi-million dollar mortgages. You know, we handle every customer. And I do want to say that it's a myth that we spend more time with clients that, you know, have more invested with us. Because to be honest with you, if person A has $50 in their account, but they're memorable and they come in on Saturdays and they go, Hi, Daniel, how's your day going today? That person's more memorable, and I want to help that person out a heck of a lot more than that multi-million dollar customer that comes in, doesn't give us the time of day, throws their ATM card at us, you know, so it doesn't matter, and it's a common misconception how much money you have invested. What it really matters is how we remember you. Anytime that you have a problem in the future, let's say, unfortunately, you know, you might have some fraud or you might have your ATM card was lost or anything. Once you've made that relationship, that personal banker is going to be there to for do something. You. These are all steps so that you'll have a better banking experience in the future. I realize some of you might say, oh, I have no problems with my bank. My bank's great. That's great. And I'm really happy for you. But in case you ever need that relationship of a banker on your side, these are easy steps to try and obtain that relationship you want. If you have any banking questions, if you have any financial, not stocks, but if you have any like corporate banking questions, um, go ahead and leave the answers, leave it below, and thanks so much.